Janet, what did you want to say? You have a question for anyone, anybody caring for an elderly parent. Hi, Oprah. Hi, Panache. My name's Janet, and I was hoping you could help me with the situation I'm in right now. I'm the primary caregiver for my mother, who is at the end stage of her life, and I understand that it's a sacred time, but there are times like today where I'm very sleep deprived and I'm not functioning right, and I just feel very raw and emotional, and I get angry, and I'm grieving her even though she's still here. And I wonder, Panache, if you could help me understand the balance between being authentic and being human and staying aware and open to the lessons that this profound time is here to teach me. I'd, I'd love it if you could help me with that. Great questions. That is a great so that's another, another really popular question that people have for me. Because there are a lot of people right now that are caring for their elderly, elderly, and aging elderly parents. parents. Yes. And so the key is to, first of all, be present for what you're experiencing around being around them. For, for most people, it's moving back to where your parents are to take care of them. It's dealing with what's coming up inside of you around potentially losing them. Mm -hmm. and recognizing that this is an opportunity to come into completion around that relationship. You've said fully present many times, and I just want to, I know that for so many of you who watch Super Soul Sunday all the time, you know you're tracking with us. Yeah. But for somebody who's watching for the first time, experiencing this conversation, like, what, what are you, you keep saying being present. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means being fully available for the experience. So life is not about learning lessons. It's not a lesson in what she's going through. She's having an experience. And so it's being available for the experience of the sadness, being available for the experience of loss, being available for those moments where she doesn't know how she's gonna do it anymore. And just simply being available for everything as it's going on inside of her. Okay, you just said life isn't about learning lessons. Isn't it constantly there? to show us to ourselves? Isn't it constantly, you know, showing up in new experiences and, oh, I get that, and now something else happened and I get that? Isn't, isn't it constantly doing that? It is, but it's doing it experientially. It's doing it experientially. It's not, it's not that, you know, we didn't get a manual when we were born that said, you know, here's your test and, you know, you're gonna have okay, to pass I get your that. test, okay, right? I'm so it's you. more life's experience. Like when we look at really what, about what defines us, yes. it's our life's experiences mm -hmm. that, w that have the biggest impact on us. And the transition of a parent is a huge life experience. Mm -hmm. Why is it always the tough ones that make the biggest impression? Because we're hard-headed. Because we're hard-headed. Because <laughs> we're hard-headed. Because we're hard-headed. Because could we learn as much from the joyful times? Could we really? We really could. It seems like, gosh, you got to get hit over the head with a, you know, a hammer in order for, you know, to, to, to get the lesson or to yeah. get the experience that's going to take you to the next level. I just want to say, can't I just learn from the joyous times? You can. 